like in elementary school, I got in fights. I fought grown ups and everything in elementary and like middle school up to seventh grade. Um, in sixth grade, I fought a couple grown ups. In seventh grade, a boy blacked my eye. And I went back to school and everybody was laughing at me because my eye was black and they weren't scared of me no more. They was like, Peaches got a black eye. Peaches got a black eye. After that, I just stopped fighting. I got scared. I didn't want to have another black eye. Um, so I don't fight. But I always said whatever I wanted to say out my mouth, whether I was speaking very proper or if I was being, you know, a gutter snipe. <laughs> Either way, I always like express myself fully. But my real voice back in the day was like more like this, you know. Like, what's up, Maritza? You want to go to lunch today? You know, that kind of thing. It was very proper English. And then when I became like an adult, my mom and my baby daddy kept cheating on me. And my mom used to cry. And I'd be like, I don't know why Gregory is doing me like this. I don't know why Gregory is treating me so bad. And I just love Gregory. And my mom used to be like, you dumb bitch. You need to get black on his ass. Stop acting like a cracker. Get black on his ass. Like, you know, and then I started hanging out with my sisters on my daddy's side and they act real ghetto. Not them hoes try to act proper, but they used to be like, fuck nigga, this, this, this. Like, so ghetto, disrespectful. And the boys loved them. Me and Wood was just talking about this today. I started hanging out with my sisters. The niggas loved my sisters. Them hoes would call a nigga every name in a book and the nigga would still give them $1,000. I was like, you can talk like this and still act and they like you more? And that's when I started cussing niggas out. And they still ain't like me more. I don't know what it is. We're going to talk about he missed the old me. Well, she's never coming back. He missed like the proper submissive me. The crybaby me. The nice one that like to massage his feet and cook for him. That version of me. Yeah, that bitch did. She ain't coming back. Christina! <laughs> Christina's gone. She's not coming back. But yeah, I would say at the end of the day, though, be your be yourself. Like, it's parts of me that I don't like. I don't like when I get online and I just, like, cuss everybody out while I'm live. I don't like being that person. But when I'm live, that's when people try me the most. And so I'll be, like, very fast and snappy. But my real personality, I'm chill. Like, I don't like to be with nobody. I don't like cussing. I don't like conflict. Like, I don't like that in real life. I like being by myself, and it's just happy by myself. My baby daddy said the same shit to me as well. I told him, uh, this me, the me he has now as a result of all the bullshit he put me through. Exactly. They want you to go back to the nice suite before you knew about being heartbroken. When you thought the nigga was faithful, that kind of you, that naive, submissive, just want to make you happy kind of you. And no, baby, I know who you really are. So this is what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you what you deserve. Fuck you. You know, they don't like that. But that's what happened to me. But I used to be extremely proper. I know how to talk like that still. I just don't do it as much. So I just talk regular like this now. See, my thing is I want to be submissive, but I'm used to being an alpha. So I'm an alpha female. I'm only submissive in the bedroom. Oh, well. My husband always tell me, you don't listen to me. So you can lead us to hell. <laughs> that part be hard. Because then when you be trying to ask them to lead, they don't want to. But then we get out in public, they want you to let them lead. Oh, you don't listen. You, your ass don't listen. So what, what the fuck you going to leave me? And I, sometimes he'd be right. And I'd be like, damn, I should have just listened to him the first time. But most of the times, baby, you can't leave me nowhere but the hell of jail. I'm not listening to you. Um, I just want to know how you could be so forgiving of wood, but don't forget your family. The same way you could be on that fake profile, that profile with no motherfucking picture. Oh, get on your real page and ask me that, bitch. That's the same way. It be the audacity for me. Y'all hoes can't even talk shit from y'all real page and want to ask me real questions. So shut up. Do you vote? No, I don't. You know, they got that app that show you if people vote. They've been exposed that I don't vote on that on YouTube and was saying I should be canceled. And I said, fuck all oh, y'all. I don't give a fuck about voting. 
That shit don't change your fuck thing. My one vote ain't gonna keep Donald Trump in office, bitch. So no, I don't vote. I don't vote in um local elections or uh presidential elections. I don't vote in none of that shit. And then there's some of y'all that vote in presidential elections, but y'all don't vote for the school board stuff. Y'all don't vote for the mayor, y'all don't do none of that. Y'all only vote for presidential elections to get a fucking sticker that say I voted. So you could post it on fucking Facebook and Instagram. So don't come for me. But to answer your question, no, I do not vote. And I don't care who know I don't vote. I tell them, bitch, I don't vote. Bitch. I got a real pretty face, so I try to like lift my hair up to let you know, yeah, ho, it's giving no makeup. <laughs> Um, it's no drama going on. Y'all ain't missing nothing. I'm just being fun. What they ask me. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Do you think you will ever vote? No, I ain't gonna fucking vote. I might run for mayor one day. Everybody always used to tell me I should run for mayor. So one day I might run for like the mayor of Temple. This might be something I do in my little life. But um, other than that, I probably wouldn't vote. Even when I was, if I like run for mayor, I probably still won't vote. I won't give a fuck. Unless they be like, you got to go take a picture voting for yourself. Then I'll go take the fucking picture. But no, I don't see, I don't really think, in my opinion, for me, my vote don't count. It really don't matter. I vote and we lose. Like who I pick, we lose. Then what? I'm just mad that I lost. And it don't change a fuck thing. That's how my mind works. Now, when I was in high school, I believed that you should vote and all that. Every vote counts bullshit. But now I don't think it matters. As an adult who has experienced life, that shit don't fucking matter. You got to have self-advocacy skills and you have to have advocacy skills on the local level. So even though I don't vote, I know how to get shit done at a local level if need be. That's my opinion on that also. I shouldn't be telling y'all that. that. It sounds so ignorant. It sounds so ignorant. Your vote counts. Vote. You guys vote. I'm just not going to go do it for a sticker. Maybe if they was giving out like pizza, uh, some bleach, some dish detergent, something of value, then I'd go vote. But then that would be considered bi- bribery. But just for a sticker that say I voted, uh, I don't feel like it's worth my time. That shit don't matter. I always vote. That shit did. But yeah, anyways, next subject. I know somebody screenshot and uh screen recording this. They always screen record me. Y'all worse than the police. Everything I say is screen record. Yeah, like if it was for a slice of pizza, some bleach, you know, something meaningful like that, I'd go vote. I would. I'd be like, okay, but bitch, at least we're gonna stand in line and get some pizza in a Gatorade. Or uh, at least a bottle of water, because I'm going to be thirsty. Then it'll be worth it. But just to go out there and they give me a sticker that say, I voted. Bitch, go get us some boxes of pizza. Pepperoni and cheese. Some bottled water and some Gatorades. We'll all come out. We'll chit-chat. We'll eat some pizza. We'll vote. It's that simple. Yep, at least give me something I could use. At the very least, a sticker. Come on now. Stop wasting our money on the I voted sticker. I'm being serious. Y'all think I'm joking. I'm being dead serious. Thank you. Gregory McKay said he got a toothache. Um, His wisdom tooth is bothering him. So I'm going to have to get his tooth pulled soon. How hard is it to unlearn bad behaviors from your upbringing? What bad behaviors do I possess? Let me know. Unless you're just referring to you. You want my outlook on it. Based on like what we learn in books and stuff, it takes 90 days to... Stop a bad habit. Now, how deep is the trauma? It varies. But if you just like referring to me, what bad behaviors do I have? Cursing? Because that's something I enjoy. I'm not going to stop that. No, just speaking in general. So it depends on what it is. It's data that exists depending on what the habit is. It takes at least seven tries to leave a domestic violence relationship. Normally, most people don't though. But it normally takes... Those who do at least seven attempts to actually leave Um, with smoking, it takes a bunch of alarms and that'll really help you for about six months and then you start back smoking. So it just depends. It depends on the person. It depends on what it is. Most people who lose weight, they go through like weight loss surgery or they start a new diet to lose weight. They only keep the weight off for five years. 
So it depends on what it is. Will you host a slot pool? No, I would air y'all for the money. Let's say if we all chipped in and it was a lot of money, I would just keep the money and not gamble. <laughs> How y'all looking for me around the city? Nah, seriously, I would. Um, And then the casino won't let me because they know that that's what I would do. How much is your night class? Right now, it's on sale for $39, Sheila. Whole clothes. Cloves of garlic? What do you got to do? Eat it? Just put it in his mouth? What do you got to do? Thank you. I really didn't do nothing different. Y'all have been telling me I'm pretty all day. And everywhere I went, people been saying, you're so pretty, your skin. And it's like, bitch, all I did was wake up and put on lotion and brush my teeth. And I got on a white shirt. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, so like there's books. No matter what you're dealing with, there's books that exist and videos. There's some type of literature on it. So if you can read that stuff, whatever it is, whatever kind of struggle from your trauma, and it'll tell you like the land, it'll tell you different things to do, and you just try to apply it, then you tweak it to see like, oh, this doesn't work, but this works for me. And you figure it out on your own that way with their guidance. That's that pregnancy glow. I'm not pregnant. Um, she said clothes of garlic, not regular clothes. Oh, then I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to Google it. I haven't answered that question. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm happy the social media bundle is helping you. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. What lotion did I did I use? Everybody he asked give me that and I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> they keep asking me what lotion do you use? What perfume do you use? Bitch. You're being weird. And no, I'm just kidding. Maybe one day I'll do a video, but right now I don't tell people what I use, what products. No, I don't. Then I would be sweaty and smell like an onion. Of course I don't do no shit like that. Um I live in Florida, so it'd be hot. I don't even wear silk. Now people are silk undies. Bitch, you're going to be so stank. You got on silk undies in Florida and you in the hot sun. Your coochie going to smell like onions and feet. No thanks. <laughs> no gargle with coconut oil and clove oil. His toothache will stop at me. Okay, I got to go look it up. Y'all so funny. I'm going to go back on TikTok though. TikTok is a vibe. You going to Rabonia Parade this year? Most likely not. When is it? So I could tell Wood. Wood will probably go. I don't like stuff like this. So like Rabonia was nice. Like it wasn't a fight. But I'm from the projects. Most people out there was from the projects. But I was scared in the projects. Like I didn't like the projects. So that one way in, one way out, dead end street, kind of, that's scary. People all this close to me, that's scary. People saying, oh, that's Peach. I don't like that. I didn't feel comfortable. I like when people act like they don't know who I am or they really don't know who I am. Like I just went to the furniture store yesterday and a man real deal didn't know who I was. It was a pleasant shopping experience. He treated me like shit. I loved every second of it. And then somebody see me, they was like, that's Peach, you better take care of her. And I was like, <laughs> don't be telling people that. Baby, I be wanting people to treat me normal, regular, 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 because I am regular. I'm from St. Pete. We hang out on 9th Street at the MLK Parade. Rabonia is nothing. Well, I've never been to a St. Pete Parade in my life. Even this year, I was like, well, maybe I could take McKay. But how is it? People like, yeah, they could shoot. But, you know, it's just, it's, they don't really do that. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Yeah, he treated me like shit. I liked it, though. I enjoyed it. He asked me for my address, and I was like, um, we don't give people our address. As if my address ain't on the internet leak. But um, I was like, I don't give people my real address. And he got like an attitude with me about it and went to roll in his eyes like he thought, oh, this whole finna do fraud in my stuff. It was funny, though. Um, oh, Gasparilla's Children's Parade is tomorrow. We love Gasparilla, but I'm not going. I don't check uh social media app messages. You got to text me if you're trying to spend a little bit of money. And if you got to shop my website for stuff, that's a dollar. The amount of people playing on my phone today is insane. It's so nuts. My job, my number is always public record. My business number, I always said, today, everybody wants to play on my phone. It's hilarious. 